Hi everyone, this is Scorp, and I'm going to be doing something a little different today. Um, today I'm going to be looking at um, basically a... I'm going to do a full, like, here's the, like, what's best about each symbol um, in both in the early game, the mid game, and the late game. Um, and basically we'll be able to compare and contrast uh, the symbols to see really what what makes them better and what makes them worse than each other. And I can even go into a little bit of where some symbols are better in the early game versus late game versus mid game. So I'm going to start with wood, uh, then I'm going to go uh, through water, and then I'll, I'll just carry on through the elements like that. And this is probably going to be a pretty long video. So what I have here across the top row is basically what you're going to use through area one is a wood and water, uh, a wood symbol character. You've got these woods. Um, you're going to start with petite moths. Um, you'll get a needle worm a little bit later. Uh, you might even start with one. Um, and then you want a psychic cap and a root rotter. You're going to probably start with a couple of these, a couple of these, and a couple of these. Uh, and as you go through, um, you can technically evolve a petite moth in area one. If you, uh, you can do it on Tristan's field, uh, but you have to have basically killed every single thing on Joey's field with petite moth, uh, and then, uh, including his symbol, and then you use, uh, and then you probably have to kill something of Tristan's also with it, and then you can evolve it into larva moth. Yes, it's a lot, but, um, and I don't think it's worth it, especially because of the experience you sacrificed in your symbol to do it. Um, but you could do it in area one, otherwise you're probably going to end up with larva moth in your first duel in area two. Um, going on to area two, your first duel in area two is going to be against Weevil, um, and you're going to grab Gokabor. Um, and you're probably going to make larva moths in that fight. You're going to then go for one or two fights, probably two, and then you're going to go after Mai, who has another field that can evolve, and then you're going to evolve into Great Moths. Um, right when you have Gokabors, you're pretty much already in, um, because of how powerful this piece is, you're pretty much already in the mid game. Um, but once you have Great Moth, you are really, really into the mid game. Um, and you've definitely, you've, you basically hit your biggest power spike in the game. Um, your first biggest power spike in the game. Um, these next three are slightly later woods, um, that you'll pick up during the mid game, um, as you go through. Uh, but then I wanted to go over here. Um, these are your mid game waters. Um, you're gonna get penguin soldier. You're gonna get a penguin. You're gonna evolve it into a penguin knight. You're going to fuse the two of them from the second one with Mako, and you're going to make a flying penguin. Um, when you get, and you're going to get a jellyfish from Mako. Um, and then in area three, you're going to take those root water and Psycho Kappa that you started with and evolve them into High Tide Gyojin and High Soap. And these things are monstrous pieces. They are super strong. Um, so this is the strongest you'll pretty much be in the entire game, um, using these along with the Great Moths. Um, yes, it costs a lot of AP but and a lot of MP to use all of them, but they're very strong pieces. Um, and then you get to a Shizu and you get to grab Sinister Serpent. Um, and around when you get to a Shizu, um, you will have gotten this Hercules Beetle and you will have gotten it to have this special. Um, so you'll be able to perform evolutions. Um, you can even take this piece from her and then go back into versus mode and use Hercules Beetle to evolve it. And then you can fuse off the Hercules Beetle with the um, Kukwata Alpha, which I didn't put in here, but you should probably use that piece too. Um, about in here also. And that will give you uh, your Quagar Hercules. Um, one of your uh, one of your uh, late game pieces. Uh, you can also make use that Hercules Beetle on Shizu's field to make perfectly ultimate Great Moth, um, another amazing piece that you'll want to be using. 
Um, Trent is probably one of the weakest pieces on this list, but um, I'm bringing him along just because of its special uh, as well as uh, its damage. At the same time, you're going to grab Sewage and an Aqua Dragon um, and those kind of pieces from Ishizu also. Um, and at this point, you get to be really powerful. Um, this is basically the strongest you're going to be in the game. And even then, you're still probably going to struggle a little bit with Yami Bakura. But you should be able to ride out these pieces to get to the end of the game. Um, once you get to the end of the game, I assume you're going to trade swap a Karyu Shin over um, from one of your other symbols, uh, like a wind symbol or something that took one from Pegasus 2. Um, you're also going to get Fortress Whale for completing the game and Javelin Beetle. And you'll eventually get to a Dungeon Worm. Um, and this piece is amazing for taking down Earths. Uh, this basically does like a thousand damage to a um, Super War Lion. So this is where you'll get to on New Game Plus. Um, the major downside here is that if you look at almost all of these pieces, their AP costs are unbelievably high. Like we look at Fortress Rail, 190, perfectly ultimate, 220. Um, Javelin Beetle, 195. Karyu Shin, 250. Aqua Dragon, 267. So you have to use some of these other pieces, and I try to use things like Hunter Spider, because um, this piece is exceedingly strong on a wood symbol, and it only costs 115 AP. Or I'll use um, Quagger Hercules, which is another solid piece. Uh, and it has 120 AP. Um, Hunter Spider does have a special that is nichely useful. Um, and you can also use Dungeon Worm with that. Um, you're also probably going to still be using High Tide Gyojin and, and Hyosube um, because these things just ha these things just scale super well into the late game. And of course, a Flying Penguin. Um, and in New Game Plus, you can have two Flying Penguins, which makes them into a great Bishop pair. So they're a very strong set of pieces. Um, and Sinister Serpent uh, is one of those pieces that is really good because it's only 48 AP. Uh, but it's a solid piece anyways. Uh, I didn't mention too much. Jellyfish is one of the longest range uh, waters in the game. So that's why I like that in the mid game. And... Yeah, overall, um, really the strength of the wood symbol is the mid game. Um, it scales off a little bit. Um, it stops. It doesn't do have the highest of high end. Um, this piece is only so good. It's not quite as much as something like a thunder or a, some of the other elements have. So. That's where I'll leave it with on wood. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, definitely lacks in late game, but it's mid game is so strong that it's pretty good. Okay, and continuing on with the water uh, creatures, um, we start with um, Petite Moth and Needle Worm and Larva Moth again. Um, same basic setup for the first area. Uh, Psychic Kappa and Root Water also. Uh, goal is to get as much experience on the Petite Moth, Psychic Cap, and Root Water as possible. Also, Needle Worm becomes a great tank later on in the game, so this is a creature that you'll use throughout the game. These other creatures are creatures that you'll evolve and keep with you for most of the game. Um, Larva Moth again. It could be evolved on Tristan's Field. Probably won't be. But you're going to use uh, basically all of this experience you're giving to all of these creatures will be used later. Um, then moving on to the mid game, uh, the mid game starts a little bit later. Um, it's going to take you until about your fourth duel into the second area so that you can get yourself to a great moth. Um, at the same time, it's not going to be until area three again, where you get to use, uh, to do the evolution for Hayasube, um, and for high tide Gyojin, which is your first real main power spike. Uh, great moth is a great power spike. And then these two are a great power spike. Um, and you, this will also allow you to make Flying Penguin about the same time. Um, you're going to use Toadmaster Special for it. Um, one of your main power spikes is actually going to be when you grab Great White. 
in the shop at the start of area two. Um, this is going to be one of your best damage dealers at this that point in the game. So basically, you're going to get a little stronger at the start of area two, but not nearly as strong as wood gets. Um, so your mid game is going to take a little longer to get online. Um, it does become decently powerful. It's probably uh, probably the part of water that I actually like the most, um, which is not saying terribly much. Um, I only have this on here because of its special. Um, Sinister Serpent's not nearly as good as it was on the wood symbol. Um, all of these pieces are considerably worse. Um, Hayusube is actually an amazing tank on this. Um, 360 defense is just wonderful. Um, same with uh, Flying Penguin. This thing has effectively 800 health. It is incredibly tanky. Um, definitely use usable. Um, and then High Tide Gyojin is actually a piece that has decent attack. Um, that's the main reason. It, it is one of your main damage dealers. I would probably make a couple of these, if not three, on my water playthroughs. Um, then moving on, um, we get into the late game, uh, basically transitioning to it around the Ishizu 2 duel, um, or sorry, Ishizu 1 duel, um, where we can make our first perfectly ultimates um, using the Hercules Beetle over here. Um, and we're going to go into uh, maybe this Quagar Hercules. I took off um, Hunter Spider here. I didn't even. I don't even consider it going into it. Um, I, I wouldn't even go into Quagar Hercules personally. It's just not worth it to even play the piece um, on the water symbol. It's just so weak. Uh, you have to do it on Dark Field, and even then, it just feels bad to play this creature. It's just not strong enough. Um, your late game is going to be carried almost entirely by your waters. Um, Javelin Beetle and Perfectly Ultimate just lack the punch that they had on the wood character. Um, they're still decently tanky, but they're not... They just don't have the damage uh, to support the fact that they cost, like, a fifth or more of your AP per turn. Um, so that's pretty painful. Um, Suigen's a wonderful tank. Um... It has Water Wall. Water Wall is an amazing ability. Uh, moving on, uh, Man Eating Black Shark's not terrible. Um, it's a decent up chunk of attack when you get it. Um, and then Grappler also is another good attacker. Um, and then Karyushin is another great attacker. Um, it's one of the reasons that I would use it. Uh, and then Aqua Dragon also. Aqua Dragon has this special that just ignores defense, which is perfect and one of the things that you absolutely need for dealing with some thunders. And then once you get into New Game Plus and the like, um, grabbing Dungeon Worm is pretty much a must for a water symbol. Um, it makes it so that you'll be able to shred shred off a bunch of the health given to some of your opponent creatures that are like Earths. This can do upwards of a thousand damage or more to them, uh, just using that special on them. So Dungeon Worm's definitely a take it. Take with you, definitely get this piece. Um, it's a great tech option against anyone that's using Earth. Um, and it's also pretty good if somebody is just using, like, if you're in a mirror match against water, this can shred off, like, two, three hundred defense off of a target, um, so you can actually do some damage to it. Like, just imagine this Hayosube going back down to 129 defense. It's just so much, um to make it make your, the piece easier to just kill or get over. I mean, it would take two Karyushin attacks to get over that instead of literally like 30 attack or it would be like 40 attacks or something. It would be absolutely absurd to try to get through that piece um, without something like this. So I think that's water. Uh, I'll be moving on to the next element shortly. Okay, continuing on with the fire creatures, um, uh, the fire symbol, fire and wind. Um, so this is what you're going to use pretty much to start the game with. Um, I usually don't even bother with fire reapers um, because I have so much other stuff that I want to level. Um, but it's a, it's there and it's a pretty strong piece. It ends up being pretty good. Uh, 
Yeah. Um, and you're also going to start the game, um, you kill Joey and you get a Sina Thomas soul, um, from a special duel, um, and you get, and you want the baby dragon and fire grass, um, basically fire grass and baby dragon are going to go into fusion and evo uh, two fusions for each of those. Um, Hinotama Soul is just a strong piece, especially on fire, um, and it has good plus AP for you in the early game, so, uh, and then Droll Bird's just super cheap, um, it, it's not the best piece by any means, but it's just so cheap that it's worth it, especially for the early game. Um, and that's how you get through Area 1. Um, in Area 2, you're going to pretty much just buy Flame Manipulator out of the shop. Um, and then your goal is to get this thing evolved as fast as you can into Fire Yaru. Um, Fire Yaru on a Fire Symbol is absolutely ridiculous. It's so strong. I would absolutely bring two of these, if it, it, as many of them as I could. Um, but you're not really going to, and you're also going to uh, use a Time Wizard to make Thousand Dragon. Um, these are the two things that you pretty much have to do in Area 2. Right when you get both of them, you're probably in your mid-game. Um, but that's not really where your power spike at. Um, you're going to get to Area 3. Um, you get to buy Petite Dragon, uh, which will fuse with that Fire Grass to make Dark Fire Dragon. Um, you, in this point, you're going to need to level Harpy Ladies to level 3, so that when you grab the third one, you can make Sisters later. Um, and then the main thing here is that at the start of Area 3, you buy these two. Um, and these two are really, really strong on fire. They have so much range, and it just lets you control the fight. Uh, they, they pretty much just win fights on their own especially on fire since they do enough damage to actually kill things um these two just please pick these up and you're going to use them and you'll win um and then moving on to area the next area um when you can you get Kazujin, um and that moves on uh Kazujin is just so good um i sometimes like to grab punished eagle um it's not that great to be honest, it's so much AP cost is the main issue with it. But in Area 4, uh, you're going to be getting the ability to fuse into Harpy Lady Sisters, um, and if you wanted to, you could have fused into a Flame Swordsman. This is personal preference. I don't... This is not my favorite piece. Um, just full disclosure, I don't really like the piece. Uh, it's a lot better on wind, so I'll get to that when we go through the wind section. Um, but yeah, you're not going to get too much stronger in Area 4, um, but you're you're pretty strong at this point anyways, so you're going to go through Area 4, and then you're going to get into Area 5, and now you're in the late game. Um, and you get some pretty good stuff here. Um, Lesser Dragon, uh, of all of the pieces that have this 4-2 um, attack, um, this one costs the le least AP. Um, and that's the reason that I have it here. Uh, Guy of the Dragon Champion's too expensive. Parrot Dragon is slightly more expensive for barely any extra benefit. Uh, it's very rare that the extra like 50 attack actually matters. So uh, I take Lesser Dragon. Um, just so much of a stronger piece. Uh, it's just such a strong piece for the cost. So I definitely like to bring it. Um, Harpy Lady Sisters so strong super strong piece um and it has the defense break ability if, uh, special if you really need need it or if you want to kill a pesky uh wood creature or something this creature does great for it um when you get to merrick you're gonna get harpy's pet dragon and meteor dragon meteor black dragon uh both of these pieces just they're super strong um they're pretty expensive though um and you might not use too many of them, uh, but you're going to also probably make a Manga Riruren. Um, this piece is has a special that makes it nice and tanky, or something else nice and tanky. So it's a pretty good piece. Um, and then you can also use Taihong. Um, I really like this piece. Uh, 650 attack is wonderful, and it has a very low AP cost. 
Um, you, you notice here a lot in the late game, I care way more about the AP cost than anything else. I mean, you're going to have infinite MP on almost all of these stages. Uh, and But you have a limit of about 1,000 AP that you can use per turn. So if you use five of these tie hones, you might be able to use another like three pieces afterwards versus uh, using MBD. If you use four of them, you can't even use four. You can only use three. So that that's one of the main stats that I care about especially in the late game. That's why I don't like Harpy's Pet Dragon very much. Um, another good choice here is Sky Dragon for the same reason. Um, and then if you want diagonals, uh, Lajin does a ton of damage, has a pretty nice special for killing things. Um, and then also once you get past uh, new game, uh, definitely Rigor Sleever. I really like this piece. It's low cost, uh, but it does tons of damage. Um, it is a, the epitome of a glass cannon, and I really like that playstyle, so that's why I like to bring him. Um, same with, uh, I don't bring Launcher Spider too much, but if you want a slightly tankier fire, it's there. Um, Ray Ren, Manga Ray Ren's technically better, but just an honorable mention to this thing. And then, uh, Robotic Knight and Tactical Warrior, both of them, um, Robotic Knight has an interesting moveset, um, sometimes that's useful, um, and then Tactical Warrior is a pretty tanky fire um, and does tons of damage, so just all of these pieces I like to keep in mind. Um, you have a bunch of options on the top end on fire, um, which is basically one of the reasons that's so much better than something like wood. Uh, you have all of these choices to choose from, and Depending on the situation, you can choose something that's usually better than a class like wood that is pretty limited in what it can choose from. So I think that's it for fire. I'll discuss uh, wind next. And continuing on with wind. Uh, here's your early game. Um, it's pretty identical to fire. Um, I prefer flame viper here uh, just because you're it's slightly cheaper. I mean, that's the main difference. Uh, it's basically identical to a Fire Reaper. It's just slightly, and I mean slightly, and I mean very slightly. It's slightly weaker, but I mean it basically does the same thing. Fire Reaper has a slightly better moveset, I guess, but I don't know. They're indistinguishable pieces. Um, but same same deal as fire. Um, this gives you good plus AP. Uh, you want fire grass to go into dark fire dragon at some point. Baby dragon also goes into thousand dragon. Drill bird's just super cheap. Um, and then area two. Uh, now we're gonna get a little bit weaker than fire was. Uh, flame manipulator. You're probably just gonna need to get this thing to level four. Um, so that you can make a Flame Swordsman. Fire Yaru on Wind is basically useless. Um, Harpy Lady, you're going to want to get these to level 3. Um, you get them from my. It's pretty nice. Um, Crow Goblin, you're going to get this uh, from starting the game. Uh, from not having more than 10... Uh, you're, if you don't have more than 10 wins in your, um, uh, or you don't have even 10 wins total that you have, you can get Krogal one from the shop. Um, not the world's best piece, but it kind of gets the job done for you, so that's nice. Um, but at the same time, you also get access to Thousand Dragon. Thousand Dragon's wonderful. Um... You'll be fusing off your Time Wizard for it. Um, you'll end up getting a second one in Area 3 also, because you can. Um, then moving on into Area 3, you finally get to get a little bit stronger. Um, you're going to get Masaki from Pegasus. It's already leveled for you. Um, so you can fuse into a Flame Swordsman. Um, you get to buy Winged Dragon uh, from the shop. Uh, this thing, not the best piece that's ever existed but 
it's got good range and it does help quite a bit. It's a pretty strong piece for uh, for what it costs, so I, I definitely would bring this one. Uh, Firewing Pegasus, not the world's best piece, but when you're having to scrape by and you probably have a bunch of extra MP lying around, um, you can bring a Firewing Pegasus if necessary. Um, it does have a little bit of attack. Uh, its special is pretty, can be pretty useful sometimes. Um, Blast Juggler, if you want it, um, it's a relatively tanky fire. Um, and then we get to Petite Dragon. Um, you're going to want to level this so you can make Dark Fire Dragon. Um, Dark Fire Dragon's excellent. Uh, uh, it's just good. Um, it's one of your best damage dealing fires that you'll be able to use, so definitely get yourself a Dark Fire Dragon. Um, and also Killer Needle. Um, this thing has quite a bit of attack, and its map effect makes it usually have way more attack, so I like to bring this thing around. Um, it's definitely a glass cannon, but it has definitely had its uses, so I, li I like that piece. Um, Kazajin, uh, you're probably not going to end up taking it because you're going to take a Robotic Knight and a Punished Eagle instead. Um, but if you don't want the Robotic Knight, um, Kazajin is a great replacement, especially when you're using Killer Needle to be the piece on the other diagonal. This thing is incredibly tanky, and it has two uses of air wall. Definitely use this piece, especially it's it's probably not as useful as on fire because on fire this is basically your best tank. On uh, wind, you have other options for really good tanks, but this thing is really tanky. Um, Punished Eagle, a piece that actually has attack power. Yeah, thank me later. Um, Unfortunately, its AP cost is high, but hey, it's a wind piece that has a bunch of attack and gains a bunch of effect or attack power from the field. Really good. Recommend it. You're going to make Harpy Lady Sisters. This thing's special is really strong. You're going to use the special a lot to deal with a lot of things that you don't like dealing with. Uh, Robotic Knight. Uh, this piece, it's just a tanky fire. Not my favorite piece in the world, but it, it definitely has its place. Um, Garuzis is a pretty uh, high damage dealing fire, um, and it's relatively tanky, so you might end up picking this up. Um, Parrot Dragon, uh, I, when I said I didn't like Lesser Dragon in the last one, well, um, Lesser Dragon doesn't do nearly as well on a wind symbol, so I pick up Paradragon. Um, Parrot's not the strongest piece in the world, but it definitely is a pretty good piece. I, I would like to keep one around just, just in case I want that moveset. Um, relatively tanky Launcher Spider um, and pretty tanky Molten Behemoth. Just more options that you have. Um, these pieces aren't the best in the world, but they, they do get the job done, usually, so I do like to bring them around. Um, personally, I would prefer this Molten Behemoth a lot more than this Launcher Spider. It just has more attack, uh, but they're both acceptable pieces. Um, then we have Gaia the Dragon Champion. Um, so this is going into the King Coliseum. Uh, we're gonna want some actually this is a pretty tanky piece um, which is it's super nice that this piece exists um, it wasn't very useful on fire because we just had pieces that did did what this does better um, here we don't um, we need a piece that has a special that does this much damage we need a piece that moves quickly and attacks for 300 it has high defense it can get in there and it can take a hit so I definitely like Gaia the Dragon Champion. Then we have Harpy's Pet Dragon. Um, this piece is much better on wind than it was on fire. Uh, this piece just actually can tank something. Um, and it has decent damage to boot. So definitely like that piece. Meteor Black Dragon. Man, this piece is strong. Just, man, is it strong. 
That defense is huge. Uh, it's got a huge attack. It's really tanky. Hard to bring down. Cannot go wrong with this beast. Um, Ryu Ran and Manga Ru Ran. Uh, usually I just go into a Manga Ryu Ran so that I can have this special. Um, basically giving this thing like almost 400 defense is really good. Or you can give it to something else um, that's really close to it. If your opponent can only hit one creature, you can maybe make your creature's defense like almost 500. And then your opponent basically can't hurt it. Which is great. Um, this is just an upgraded version of Flame Cerberus. Uh, it does more damage. I, if you, you're lacking damage, fires have you covered. Um, and then here's another tanky fire just to make yourself even more bulky in the fire, on the fire side. Definitely. Wind is, wind just, it has a bunch of tools that you can definitely utilize um, as a symbol. Um, it has a bunch of top end and it's mid game is pretty it's like acceptable. You can get through it pretty well, pretty easily. Um, it definitely uh, takes the cake well over water, so definitely a stronger symbol. Um, fire probably stronger on the late end than wood is. I'd probably take wood in the in the direct early game, uh, but let's go ahead and move on to Earth. Okay, continuing on with Earth. Um, an earth symbol is probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest symbol in the game. Um, so I was picking out all of these creatures and I realized there is a whole lot of stuff you have to choose from and there's so much of it that's really good. Um, so starting off in area one, um, happy lever and scale angle, um, basically you pick your favorite lights to start the game with. Um, Skell Angle's great, but it has some disadvantages in his moveset. Um, Happy Lover ends up being a pretty big beast at the end of the game. Um, and does quite a bit of damage. Uh, it also has Heart Beam, which is moderately acceptably helpful sometimes, so it's not bad. Um, put Prisman in here, sometimes decreasing Turks is slightly useful. I don't know. I, uh, I use it once in a while, um, in the early game. Uh, but also, once you get to Taya, pick up the Serpent Marauder and the Lamoon. Um, Lamoon's gonna go into Dark Witch. Serpent Marauder is just a relatively tanky piece that you can get early on. It has decent plus AP. Um, for Earths, you're basically going to be leveling. Um, if you want to make Rock Spirits, you can level Hanawa. I hate Rock Spirits, so I'd probably remove this piece. But And I hate leveling this thing so take that for what it is but I would probably make four mod larvuses so I definitely bring a larvus along with me a couple of them um rock ogre grotto number one um bring two of these uh when you can uh they're pretty strong for uh their cost so definitely good to have around um and then Torake, just it's an all-around good piece, if you want to bring it. Uh, next up, Time Wizard. Uh, so, going into Area 2, um, we get Time Wizard in the shop, um, and basically we're going to do evolutions for Mon Larvis at this point. Um, you want to take Hitatsumi Giant for this special, um, as well as probably going to take Two-Headed King Rex, because there's nothing else to take from Rex. Not not a great, not the greatest um, area for you, but I mean, you're gonna just get symbol levels, and once you have like a level 3 symbol, your earths are gonna be so tanky it doesn't matter anymore. Your lights are gonna do tons of damage already. The, the symbol, once you have a couple mon larvuses, you're effectively in the mid game anyways, and you're just so strong, even though you don't really have the pieces to say you're that strong. Um, but then Area 3 happens, and you have Pegasus, and you have Odeon, and the shop also gives you Petite Angels, and Pegasus Field let you, lets you um, evolve Dark Witch. Um, once you get your Petite Angels up, you can make Shining Friendships, 
Um, Shining Friendship has an amazing uh, attack range, um, movement range, and great AP cost. It's such a solid piece. Um, almost all of these pieces that you're getting are low AP cost. It's wonderful. Um, you can choose to take Moon Envoy from, uh, from Pegasus. It's another solid option. Um, and then you have um, Gazelle. One second. And I'm back. Uh, okay. I, I know that was like a second for all of you guys, so doesn't matter too much. Uh, and we were continuing through Area 3, it looks like. Um, remember to grab the Destroyer Golem from Odeon. Um, it's going to fuse with the East Statue of Easter Island. Um, I couldn't remember where you get when you get this in the shop, but you'd get it in the shop. Um, make sure and pick it up when you get it. You're going to fuse it for Millennium Golem. Um, take Sword Armor of Dragon from Odeon. Um, also, uh, you ha have um, Gazelle. Um, this is in the shop. This piece has great movement, uh, for, especially for an Earth. Um, King Tiger um, has a nice special for you for Place of Earth to go along with that. He taught me Giant from earlier. Um, and then Masaki is in here um, as a honorable mention entirely for this special. Um, the damage, regardless of enemy defense, is just a wonderful special, so... If you need that for some reason, I don't know, you're playing against somebody that's playing wind or something, you got that. You got access to that from now on. Um, then going into area four, um, you're probably not going to actually make Rabbit Horseman. Um, this is just a mistake. Um, you're going to want Kaiser Dragon and Blue Eyes and uh, Megami from Kaiba, um, but that's where you get it. Um, Horseman's not actually that bad, although... It's just, these other pieces are just that much better. Kaiser Dragon is definitely worth it. Uh, Blue Eyes is worth it. Um, this is the only one that might not be worth it, but um, that plus AP from summoning it, it's worth it. Um, and then looking at Millennium Golem, um, this is just a solid piece. Um, probably even better on a light symbol just because of how much defense it ends up with, but... This thing's a pretty tanky piece because of how much defense it has, uh, and it's not- it's nothing to scoff at. Uh, then going into King Colosseum, wow, we get so much more stuff. Um, I'll start off with the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. You're not going to get this in New Game, um, but in New Game Plus you'll get one of these, and this piece is a beast, so just keep that in mind. Um, but when you're in King Colosseum, you're going to get Air Knight Tarshaths, you're going to get Ill Witches, um, you're going to also start with Guy of the First Knight, Senjin Jin, and Performance of Sword. All three of these are pretty good pieces for their own reasons. Um, this for its straight offense. Um, Guy of the First Knight has a good special, um, as well as... It's got good movement. Uh, performance of Sword is just got range, which is wonderful. Something that uh, Earth just lacks. Um, you're going to get Panther Warrior. Um, Panther Warrior is just wonderful also. Um, it's got great range. Uh, you're going to end up getting Super War Lions uh, off of Kaiba. Um, these are just OP. Just... Yes, yeah, so you're going to use like five of these when you can get five of these. They're amazing. Um, Ill Witch. It, for some reason, has this special. Um, yeah. I don't know why it gets this special, but it's OP because of it, so I'll take it. Um, and then Carrot Idol. Uh, if you're ever on a map that's straight up dark, it doesn't matter anymore. Because this thing just has these stats regardless of what field it's on. Uh, versus Air Knight Parshath, which, if it's on a light field, it's going to have like 700 attack. So keep that in mind. Um, so I think that's that'll be it for Earth uh, in terms of uh, what you get in each stage. But I do have to just mention, there is... So oh, I forgot. Crawling Dragon. 
Um, this special is the only reason you want this thing. There might be some tanks and some challenges that are coming later. This might be pretty useful for. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this is... Earth just has so many super powerful options. Um, starting in the early game, Area 2 is its weakness, and then Area 3 just onwards. It just gets piece after amazing piece. I mean, your hardest part's going to be know which, knowing which ones to stop leveling <laughs> when you get new things. So that's it for Earth. I'm going to do Light next. Okay, continuing on with Light now. Um, we pretty much have basically the same start as you were going to have on Earth. Um, you basically are just as powerful on a Earth symbol as a Light symbol at the in Area 1. I mean, almost all of the symbols have basically the same power level at that point. Um, which is to say, it's not very high. Uh, but you will notice that you do a little bit less damage um, on your lights, and your Earths are significantly less tanky. Um, but you do get some more defense on, on all of your pieces, so that's nice. And your specials do slightly more, so this Heart Beam is much more valuable on a light symbol. So it's probably tipped even more towards Happy Lover than towards Skull Angle on which of these two is better. Although this does give you 10 more attack. Uh, this gives you a lot more tank, so your, uh, your choice. And your mileage will vary. Um, although I do like Genin a lot more. Um, this is, and same with Prisman, both of their specials are both boosted. Um, and these specials are pretty decent, um, since there's going to be some fields. Honestly, Genin's is less useful. It's mainly for evolutions. Um, because if you're boosting a light field, you know what usually happens on a light field? Your opponent has light creatures. And guess what? You buff them too. Um, and Prisman's kind of same thing. Um, yeah, it's great to... Um, actually, this is completely better um, because it's decreasing Dark's effect. Um, so some fields you can pretty much turn around uh, closer to your favor with an effect like this. Um, Serpent Marauder is just... It's just a decent piece. Um, it's not my favorite. Um, here, Larvis and Hanawa, um, Rock Spirit's a lot better on a light symbol um, than it is on an earth symbol, so there is that to look out for. Um, I still prefer Mon Larvis. I personally prefer that moveset over the um, three diagonal, two orthogonal. I, I prefer the double diagonals, but that's to each their own. Um, Lamoon, Lamoon is wonderful, um, you're gonna be getting this off of Taya and then leveling it to make Dark Witch later. Um, and then Rocco Grotto, if you have extra MP and want to throw this guy in, he's pretty decent for the early game. Um, then Area 2, you can technically make a Rock Spirit in Area 2, um, if you go and get Haritatsumi Giant, level it up, get it special, um, and then uh, do a versus mode and fight uh, fight on Rex's field, um, you can do the evolution on Rex's field that way. Um, Mon Larvis, you're going to evolve for it. Um, Two-Headed King Rex, you're just going to take it from Rex because um, it's basically the only thing that you're going to take from him besides that Titatsumi Giant. Um, and this thing special is sometimes useful on light symbols. Um, and it's also got decent attack, so it's not, it's a lot better than it was on the earth symbol. And then there's Time Wizard. This thing, it's just pretty good. So I would, I would prefer, prefer it on an earth symbol, but if, uh, it's basically the only light that you're going to get in this area, so... Might as well take it. Uh, then we move on to Area 3. Um, area 3 is where Earth and Light get a lot stronger because enemies have things for you. Um, you're going to probably grab Gazelle and Statue from the shop and um, probably a Masaki from the shop 
Um, but the main thing here, uh, Masaki is really, really strong on the light symbol because of the special. Um, you're probably going to pretty much need it. Um, also, Rogue Dole, um, please take it from uh, Pegasus and please use the special. The special is wonderful. It ignores defense on every single enemy in that attack range. You can definitely set it up with this thing's 200 defense. Please use it. It is very effective. Um, Moon Envoy, uh, this piece actually has decent attack because of its special, so um, sign me up. Again, I wish uh, these specials lasted more turns. Uh, moving on, you can also make Dark Witch. Dark Witch is pretty solid. Um, it's not nearly as good as it was on, uh, on your Earth symbol, um, but on any light field, this thing is amazing. Um, again, you're going to take Destroyer Golem from, uh, and Sword Arm of Dragon from our old friend Odeon. Um, this is just a really good piece. It has great attack, um, so definitely keep an eye out for that on your, on your light symbol. And then um, this is going to fuse into Millennium Golem, so make sure and bring that along. You'll uh, probably end up making Millennium Golem in Area 4, um, so this piece, uh, just note, high defense, pretty solid for an Earth creature, um, pretty good de attack also. Um, you're going to get your blue eyes. Um, I didn't include a Rabid Horseman. He doesn't have high enough defense really for me to think it's worth it, and we're just about to get plenty of other good Earths, so I don't think it's worth it. I think you should just grab the lights from Kaiba. Definitely take the Kaiser Dragon. This thing is amazing. <laughs> there, there are a lot of really good pieces in light um, that are making up for the fact that the symbol's effect isn't the greatest. Um, and then Seiryu. Um, yeah, another just strong piece. Um, and this thing can buff up your team. Just remember that. Sometimes that's useful. And then we go into the King Colosseum, and uh, one of the pieces that wasn't on the other is Fairy's Gift. Um, Fairy's Gift is just has a, it's just a walking special. Um, that's a lot of increase to the light field attribute. So if you're on a field that has like I don't know 70 light, because there's a couple of those, it can hit over a hundred, and you can get a piece like Air Knight Parshaf up to like 600 attack with a 200% map effect rate. So just keep that in mind. Um, things like that, piece combos like that are really strong. Um, again, Ill Witch, that special is just too good to not grab it. Um, you're going to pretty much buy these three from the shop and then pretty much immediately use all three of them. Um, Guy is a lot better, um, is a really strong piece on light. So definitely make use of him. Moving on, we got Panther Warrior. Um, just another good piece. You're going to grab a Super War Lion. Um, and, of course, Carididal. This piece is so good. Um, and then, when you get to New Game Plus, you're going to make a Boy's Ultimate Dragon, and this thing is scary. So, that that's what, uh, that's all of the light pieces that are these are like my picks for like what I'd use to go through the game. Like these are my first choices. There's a bunch of other pieces that would be filler, um, but light and earth don't have many filler pieces, to be honest. Most of their pieces are pretty solid and they have a reason to be used. So that's good. Um, definitely earth is stronger than light. I mean, it's not much of a contest. I mean, when you're comparing this piece to a piece to the same piece on an earth symbol and it has like 1200 HP and like 70 defense or 60 defense still and as much attack it's hard to it's hard to argue to ever want to play super war lion you know it's just hard to argue that I want to play this because I could just play you know earth symbol and then this piece is triple the health so 
that that's really all I think of the light symbol. It's got some great healing. It's got some great heal abilities, um, and that's its real strength, um, as well as having solid defense, which can let you tank some hits that you otherwise couldn't on some other symbols. Because pieces like Skull Guardian exist with its special 500 defense is pretty solid. I think uh, it's time to move on to uh, Thunder and then finish out with Dark. Okay, continuing on with Thunder. Um, so we're going to start off with Karibo. Um, you're going to start off with as many Karibos as you can, and you're going to level probably three of them to level four, and then you're going to use this special as much as you can and use it to win the game. Um, that's the short of it. Um, the long of it, use Karibos, please. Okay, good. Um, Feral Imp is just here to... Um, it's just a solid piece. Um, does good damage, has good moveset, uh, and it's available early, so might as well have it just for when you have a bunch of extra MP in a couple of the early stages. Um, right arm of the Forbidden One is here. Um, you're going to want to level every single Exodia piece to level 2. I'm not going to say where to get every single Exodia piece. I didn't put any more than just this one here. Um, just because there's five of them. Uh, you need four of them in your capsule deck, and then you can get the fifth one from the shop, um, and then fuse that later. Um, Exodia is super strong, so you might as well go for it. Um, it is kind of annoying to fuse it, uh, definitely fuse it in versus mode. Um, I like to uh, start out with a Steel Scorpion um, and leveling it. Um, I'll eventually use it to fuse into a Metal Zoa, maybe not a new game, probably a new game plus, because of how much stuff there is to take um, from opponents on this symbol. Um, continuing on, um, this is just one of your filler pieces to start the game with, um, but hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, Mega Thunderball, uh, you're gonna need this leveled so that you can go into Kaminari attack. Um, this, La La Leon, um, this thing has an interesting special, so sometimes you can get this to go off and it just obliterates your opponent for you, so that sound, that's just wonderful. Uh, I remember in my dark playthrough, I definitely did that to Weevil, um, almost killed one of my own pieces, I think. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty good complement to uh, another piece that we have coming up, uh, a Silo Hero that you'll get in Area 2, which is here. Um, you'll notice on this page, in Area 2, um, you can't get anything, any of these ones in Area 2. It's because I ran out of room on Area 3. Um, but you're gonna want to take Terra the Terrible and a Silo Hero from Mokuba. You're gonna want to buy the Summon Skull in the shop. Um, and you're gonna want to get the Two-Headed King Rex from Rex. Um, this gets fused with Blast Juggler later to make yourself a Cybersaurus. Um, you can definitely make that in Area 3. I definitely did not have room to put it into the Area 3 set of things. Um, yeah. Area 2 doesn't have a whole lot for you, but Summon Skull's plenty to carry you through that area without any issues. Um, then you have um, some of the stuff that you're going to get in Area 3. Um, Keith has Slot Machine Barrel Dragon. Slot Machine has a very interesting special. It changes every time. Um, uh, every time you basically... I don't know if it's low to save state, but I know it's like every duel you get a new one, so I, I've definitely gotten Sparkle of Wood in it before and absolutely obliterated Seto Kaiba with it. Uh, Seto Second, that is. So that was fun. Um, Barrel Dragon, uh, this piece is just an unbelievable <laughs> um, cannon. It just hits so hard. Um, Red Eyes will go into Red Eyes Black Metal. Zoa, you can fuse it with that Steel Scorpion. Make uh, Metal Zoa, you can make Ryukushin powered off of Ryukushin that you could also get. Um, so going into Area 3, um, when you do Merrick, um, he has Blast Sphere, Zoa, Ryukushin, um, Red Eyes. 
and all of those are completely acceptable to take. I would not fault anyone for taking any of those, so definitely just pick pick whatever you want from that. Um, then uh, Bandit Keith also has a special duel for a pendulum machine. Uh, this piece is quite strong. So definitely keep that that one that piece in mind also. Um, and then on top of that, you're gonna buy these two from the shop. Um, they're pretty good. Um, Curse of Dragon ends up doing quite a bit of damage by late game. Um, Dark Magician Girl, just solid piece. Uh, it's definitely better uh, on a Dark Symbol, so it's special does more, but still a good piece. Um, this is obtainable in this area. You're probably not going to obtain either of these two in this area because they're in the shop later and the people that you can obtain them from, aka Keith, you have other priorities to grab from him. Um, then I think Electric Lizard is either... It's in the shop at some point in either Area 3 or 4. Um, it's not that important that you level this thing and uh, evolve it on Thunder, but it still evolves into a pretty solid piece, um, which I have here over in Area 4. Um, and it does have a great special, so definitely keep in mind grabbing a Tripwire Beast is a pretty good idea. Especially when you can put a perfect block on it, send this thing into the enemy lines. It gets hit once, takes off the perfect block, and then it does this special and kills literally four or five pieces. It's wonderful. Um, but yeah, uh, now we're continuing on to Area 4 where you get even more, um, more people that have more things than you can actually take from them. Like a Whiptail Crow. This is just the special creature from... Uh, uh, Baku Yami Bakura. Not necessary to take it, but pretty decent. Take the Aki Beam from uh, Seto first. Fuse it with a Mega Thunderball, you get this thing. It has 750 attack. It's a little bit of attack. Pretty good. Um, definitely combines with the Asilo Hero, so use it that way. Um, Cybersaurus. Is there anything more to say about this piece? It has almost 700 attack and 400 health. Wonderful thunder. Um, if you're going to make Exodia, do it in versus mode. This thing is a beast. Um, you can, you'll get Dark Magician from the shop here. Um, you can evolve it into Magician of Black Chaos. Honestly, um, they're both really good pieces. Um, had some people say that maybe you want to stick with Dark Magician. You don't. Um, Magician of Black Chaos has more defense. Um, better special. Uh, but you do have to start over in levels, so that's the only downside. Uh, you're going to take Trihorned uh, and Pump King probably from uh, your good friend um, Yami Bakura. Uh, this thing is a great beat stick. Uh, this has a decent special and it's just got a great moveset, so you can't really go wrong here. Um, you could also take Royal Guard from him. This piece is also strong. And then moving on to the King Coliseum, uh, we still keep getting even more strong pieces. Um, you can get the Thunder Dragons to make Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Um, that has 800 attack casually. Definitely not a bad piece. Uh, you'll, I think you get a Machine King and a Gigatech Wolf. Uh, you definitely get the Gigatech Wolf from Ishizu. Uh, you'll notice Black Luster Soldier isn't on here. Um, that's available on the Dark Symbol, I believe. Um, and then you're going to get B-Skull from Shoddy. Um, I haven't been mentioning them, but you should have gotten Kazogen and Suogen. I just didn't have any room to fit them anywhere. Um, fuse them with Sangha of Thunder in Versus Mode. And you get Gate Guardian. Um, this piece is also absolutely absurd. Um, it has reflection. Um, it's basically perfect block, but it's only for itself. Um, definitely one of my favorite pieces to use. Uh, probably one of the reasons that I would say that Dark is or Thunder is probably super overpowered, um, with Dark being pretty good right behind it because of this piece. Uh, also, Giant Mech Soldier. Its special is kind of useless on 
on a Thunder Symbol, but can't really argue with those stats, and its moveset's great to boot. Overall, Thunder, just a wonderful, um, absolutely wonderful, does a lot of things well, has a ton of power spike in the mid game, and its late game is absolutely absurd also because it just has so many really good pieces. Um, your hardest, your biggest challenge is going to be figuring out which of these pieces you actually want to use because there's so many pieces that are so good that you want to use all of them. So with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and move on to Dark. Okay, continuing on with Dark. Um, Dark is going to be pretty similar to Thunder, honestly, except for the fact that your Thunders are going to suck a lot more. Um, especially in the early game, your early game is going to suck. I am sorry, it is going to suck. Your mid game is going to suck anytime you have to deal with any lights. Um, your late game is finally going to be able to deal with it a little bit. But just understand you have a big weakness and it's called Thunders. Um, so with all that said, um, same thing with Exodia um, as Thunder had. Um, same thing with Karibos. Um, Karibos are probably even more helpful now um, because you're going to want to keep your Thunders around for those pesky lights. And they may have had increased defense, but that doesn't really help them because they still die in like one shot anyways. Especially for like the first half of the game. Um, and then Feral Imp, same reason. Um, it's even better now. Uh, it has a better special. Special is upgraded. Um, this thing special is a little bit weaker, but it's still pretty solid. Uh, Mega Thunderball for Kaminari attack later. Steel Scorpion for fusing into uh, Metal Zoa. It's all good. Um, Area 2, same thing as before. Um, a solo hero gets Summon Skull in the shop. A solo hero and Terra from Mokuba and two headed King Rex from Rex. Um, you're going to go into Cyber Source with it. Um, try to, at the very start of Area 3, um, we're already moving on to Area 3. Area 2 is pretty unremarkable. You're just basically getting your Karibos to level 4 uh, is basically all you're doing. Um, and getting yourself access to a solo hero, which is a pretty solid piece. But you're going to get Blast Juggler, probably on Bakura, you're going to make Cyber Saurus. Um, will be the fight right after that, or in a versus mode. But you'll bring it for the next fight and every fight afterwards, or at least most of them, because this piece is pretty solid. Um, it's just got such high defense. It, it actually acts as a tank for you, except for against Earths, which will just cut through this thing like butter. Um, again, I didn't have room on the three page, so um, Rakish and Powered and Red Ice Black Metal Dragon are evolutions that you can make out of stuff that's over here. Um, you're going to grab Dark Magician Girl and Curse of Dragon from the shop. Um, and Rayakushin is available from Merrick. Um, probably not going to get it because you're going to go for the special duel and take Blast Sphere instead. Um, probably not going to get Zoa because you want red eyes. Um, and then probably won't get Metal Zoa, but if you do, it's got pretty good stats. So definitely, definitely nothing to... Look down on. I, I definitely would go for a Metal Zoa at some point. Um, again, here is your Slot Machine, um, Pendulum Machine, Barrel Dragon, all from Keith. Uh, pick two. Uh, I personally like Slot Machine because of its random special. Sometimes really, really useful. Um, I prefer Pendulum Machine over Barrel Dragon, but they're both super good pieces. Honestly, Barrel Dragon's so good. Uh, yeah, that's all uh, Area 3. Um, area 4, um, Electric Lizard, get it into a Tripwire Beast as fast as you can, because Tripwire Beast actually does damage. Um, this piece, not great, but hey, if you can level it, level it as fast as you can. Hopefully you can do that on Seto first. Uh, next up, um, you're going to also off of Seto first. You're going to grab an Aki Beam that's leveled, fuse it. To make this. Um, this piece actually has 400 attack, which is really good for a thunder on a dark symbol. 
Um, I don't know why. Whiptail Crow is just a special creature. It's here. I probably wouldn't even grab it. Um, you're gonna buy Dark Magician from the shop, evolve it into Magician of Black Chaos, probably on Yami Bakura. Uh, if you're gonna do the fusion for Exodia, you can do it here. You should be able to get the head out of the shop at this stage. Do the fusion in versus mode. Um, I have definitely done the fusion on Yami, Yami Merrick. Do not recommend it. Although, won the duel anyways, so it didn't matter. Uh, Trihorn's just gonna grab this from Yami Bakura. It's great beat, beat sick. Um, and same with Pump King. Um, great piece. Great special. Great to have. And going on to the King Coliseum, uh, we have available to us Black Cluster Soldier. Um, so we'll grab that from Ashizu. Uh, we'll grab... Um, we're gonna grab Bee Skull and a Thunder Dragon from Shoddy to uh, use the Thunder Dragons to fuse into a Twin Hunted Thunder Dragon. I think we get a Machine King from a Shizu, or we get a Machine King from somewhere, I believe. I know Thunder gets it. You might have to trade it from another uh, symbol, same with Giga Tech Wolf. But they're, they are definitely good pieces. Uh, this piece has 400 defense, so... Just a reminder, if you guys need something that's tanky, um, 400 defense will usually answer that bill. Um, again, you're going to grab a Sangha of Thunder, Fuse Gate Guardian versus mode, um, and again, probably single-handedly the best creature in the game. And then Giant Mech Soldier, it's a Thunder, it actually does damage. Congratulations, you got some damage. And if you want to, you can also fuse for a Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon with the two Thunder Dragons. Um, definitely a solid piece. So yeah, um, that's Dark. Uh, Dark is significantly weaker in the early game than Thunder, um, but it kind of has a pretty solid late game. Um, Giant Mech Soldier, Machine King, uh, even Tripwire Beast really help carry the thunders. Uh, Kaminari attack's pretty good. Um, it's just so much better on thunder. Of course, but the main benefit you have on dark is your spe uh, your dark specials are much stronger. So keep that in mind. Uh, otherwise, I, I think that's... These are all of the pieces that you should really keep your eyes out for. Um, and really, most of the time you're going to be choosing between these pieces to come up with your capsule deck um and i hope some of this was helpful to all of you and i hope all of you have a nice day